Julian, you've obviously done a lot of analysis of uh, <laughs> things from Saturday. Um, what did you pick up from the scrums and, and what went wrong there? Yeah, I, I, I watched a little bit of video <laughs> Saturday, <laughs> Sunday, and Monday. Uh, but for us, it's just getting back to system. I think that's the main thing for us. So we have a lines way. It's been that way for years. Um, we just need to get back in system. So we've had good sessions. Guys have worked hard. Um, we obviously, the red scrum was good scrum. The storm scrum was also a good scrum. It's super rugby. Every weekend, you're going to be confronted by, by good packs. Um, but it's something we do pride ourselves in. So we weren't happy this weekend. Um, we worked hard this weekend, and hopefully, we'll fix it this weekend. Yeah. Does the system still stay the same despite the fact that the personnel changes? Yeah, I believe it has to. Because um, we believe in the system, so it is. It does take time to get guys into our system, um, but it's something we have to work on really hard. The system is really important because it gives clarity. And mm. um, if you have 16 guys coming together, that's what I always say about a scrum: it's eight guys working together for a common goal. And then one plus one plus one eight times equals more than just eight. Mm. If you have that synergy, so that's what we're working towards to get there. And if you say system from how many seasons back is that system in place? Oh, since I got here, um, since when Bali started here, um, yes, I, probably before my time even. Mm -hmm. So that was, from, I can only say from 2013, but that's since I've been involved here and it's been that way ever since. Julian, the Stormers have obviously got a, they've got great names there and players who've mm -hmm. got a lot of experience. I mean, is that, you know, these last two weeks, Argentina would have been a big test for you. Last week seemed to be a test that maybe wasn't expected. Are the guys going to be ready for, for the Stormers challenge up front? Yeah, we believe so. Really confident. I really back the Boykis. We're really proud of our Boykis. We are the, um, disappointed about the weekend's performance, but there was a lot of good things. If you think of mauling, so the pack did stand up. It's just the scrum that wasn't up to our standards, but that is something we had to work on. And the Stormers pack, like you rightfully said, they have a couple of World Cup winners in there. So we have to respect them um, and show them great respect for what they've done and what they are busy doing. Um, but yeah, we, we, look, we look forward to the challenge. The problem with the scrum was it because it was not an eight-man effort. I think I, I won't doubt the guys' effort. What I do yeah, doubt is what I mean is it wasn't a it wasn't a, a effort unified into uh, one sort thing. of like yes. scrum. No, I think it's that the old. So I think it is just eight guys buying into the same thing at the same time. So there was a couple of good scrums. The Reds, I must say, they are a good pack. Um, they did come with a big explode. Brad Thorne's their coach. Yeah. So we have to give them credit. They work hard on their scrums. Um, had a good chat with them afterwards. It's the lucky thing about coaches they like to share. Yeah. So yeah, it is something we were caught off guard. Maybe you can say that. Um, but I think it's just a, a thing for us to get back to where we know we should be. Do you draw comfort from the fact that the week can be a long time in the life of a front rank? Yeah, flip it. You're only as good as your last game. So, uh, you got, we, what did disrupt us, not making any excuses, but we had two, uh, what do you call it, disrupted weeks, uh, where the guys went to, Jaguars came back, we had a short week against the Reds. So we don't have to make any excuses, but what is lacking this week is we have a full week of preparation, uh, which does help to get time to work on the system. Yanni is, Yanni is such an old end. How, how do you tell him, listen Yanni, your bind, <laughs> you've just got to work on your bind. Yeah, for me, for me, it's <laughs> lucky to work with Yanni because he's, he's got a great spirit, he's got a great learning. Um, so for me, it's not, I'm not coaching him, we're almost talking together and working the system together. Um, and what is great is the youngsters are hanging onto his lips. Um, even myself, when I just came into Springbok setup, he was the tight at starting. So I remember going to his room, sitting there and getting all the info from him, all the detail. So it's a lucky relationship at the moment. Um, and he, yeah, he teaches us a lot and I, I hope he's enjoying the system at the moment. Um, I know he wants to improve badly and he wants to anchor this pack. So looking forward to him yeah, being that guy for us. Julian, talking of systems, are you banking on a bit of inside info from Kalu? <laughs> I have to say the guys are respectfully declining us when we asked them for info from the other team. Uh, we did ask Dan a couple of questions as well, uh, but I do respect it of the guys. Uh, they, they, flip, they love where they are now, but they do respect the other teams for not giving away too much. <laughs> Julian, you guys still obviously get excited with a match like this against the Stormers, maybe more so than last week against the Reds. Do they local derbies does bring us something else on the right. So for every local derby, there's always going to be a little bit more excitement. And the guys, so you just want to draw because you're playing against guys you've been playing against a lot. Um, you know what's, what you expect. Um, yeah, so it brings out excitement. So I hope it's going to be a lucky game for, for both teams. Um, and it's just going to be a good contest. And a nice opportunity to perhaps be the first team to put points against, get points against Yeah, the they've done well to keep zero on the scoreboard for two games. Um, so yeah, we're going to stick to our process. You guys heard it a lot from us. We're going to stick to our process. And if the points come, the points come. 
um, just to keep knocking on the next opportunity, next opportunity. So, yeah, looking forward to that. The, the Stormers have made it clear this morning as well that listen, they're coming for the lines and the scrubs. Mm. Is that? It's obviously a bit of a mind game as well, but uh, <laughs> you know, when, oh. you, when you when you get that kind of a challenge from the opponent, uh, does it sort of get the guys a little bit more up? Mm. Your guys? Well, you can use it as motivation. I think the guys read it. Yeah. And they do get it, so this morning we had a chat about it, and it is, it's a nice challenge because yeah. the only thing we say is um, they're coming for us. Yeah. So you can do two things you can either run away, or we can go <laughs> to them. So, um, <laughs> but it's going to be uh, we, like I said, we're going to respect them, they are good back. Yeah. Uh, but we know if we stick to our systems, uh, we've got more than what we need to, to do the job this weekend. And, and then just 